Oh, hello there. Just peeking into the window here of my old elementary school. This is um, this is the cafeteria, and um, I remember doing performances on the stage here and Christmas performances and whatnot. Still in the halls of this uh, school, I feel I feel the ghosts of a, of a time gone by. It's what North America has been for me to revisit these memories to let them be set aside. And this place here is important to me. This is Fort Caroline Elementary School. This is where I went to school from kindergarten, first, second, and third grade. In fact, it was through these doors right here that I walked across this, across this um, doormat, and then across the, this little pedestrian area here. Because my home was right over there. It wasn't too far from me in those days. Many good memories happened here at Fort Caroline. This is where the story of Mrs. Hester and the legend of Sleepy Hollow took place as well. I formed so much, many of my memories about, or my, some of my uh, beliefs about the world and my enthusiasm and my excitement about seeing new places and learning new things. They were formed in this place. It's time, however, to let that storyline go. A great deal of sadness has come with that. But now's the time. So this is where I live from age about five to nine. And um, you can see like this room, what is it, right here I think it is, was where I used to stay. I remember looking out that window one day with uh, this tree right here. And um, this tree right here were being planted by my parents. How cool. No walk down memory lane would have been quite complete without a, a visit to the old church homestead. This is Fort Caroline Christian Church where I went for many, many years and um, absolutely loved this church. This, of course, is the new building now and um, that was not here when I was here. But this simple building, which is now labeled as the youth building, was where the sanctuary once was. One of the things I remember the most about this church is coming in through these doors and I was so excited to be a part of this church. And I would, um, unlike my parents, I would sit on the very front row of the church and our choir director at the time would um, ask who had um, uh, volunteers for hymns to sing. And of course, I was the very first one to volunteer. And I would raise my hand and shout loud and clear the hymn number of the hymn that I wanted to sing that Sunday. And the whole church would sing that hymn. These were good times, good memories, and definitely formed a lot of my beliefs and um, attitudes about the world. As I've said though before, times have changed and things, and uh, I have moved on. And so too, just like this church has built new structures and remodeled the old ones, I too must do the same for my own life. It's time to move on and carry on.